So I've always gone to the track and I've always figured, you know, this year I'm about 10, 12 pounds overweight on my class and everyone's trying to figure out exactly how does that affect your lap times. So today we're gonna try and put some scientific rigor to it and to actually show you how much each pound weighs. Whoa, each pound weighs a pound. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna show you how much each pound affects the cart and what it does to the cart as far as lap times and some of the things you can do to affect or to, to compensate for that. That way when you go to the track and you start putting your cart on the scales, you're gonna know how much you're leaving on the table when you go over your weight class and how much you're gaining if you go under. We have a great team of volunteers today. Hey Jared. Yeah. And that's quite the gear you got there. What is this? Uh, this is the little Sony FS5. It's fun. It's light. He says it's fun and light as I'm filming on my iPhone. <laughs> Here, I'll turn it to the business side. So Mark, tell me what the cart's weight at right now. How is it set up? Uh, the cart should be, the weight class is 364. Okay, so and you got weights. Where are your weights? I got them on the seat. Uh, so we've got a bunch underneath the seat, we've got a little bit on the side, and then the rest is on the back of the seat. Off, what are you doing today? Hey Brent, making hey. Mark look good like I always do. What do you think it's going to take for him to get 55 seconds? How much weight? <sighs> Honestly, I think you'd have to put 70 pounds. 70 pounds on top of senior weight. To get him to a 55 second lap. I don't know if we can do that today. I don't think so. That's that's a lot of weight. <laughs> a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. And not it's a lot of room lot of for it. So. How about I sit in the seat and then you sit on top of my lap? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So we're gonna put the cart on the scale. And the first thing we're gonna do is weigh it and see how exactly how heavy the cart is and how heavy Mark is. So this is a competition grade scale system. It measures the entire cart, driver fuel, and everything. It comes up with an actual weight reading. What do we got there, Mark? 368. All right, let's see how fast you can go at this weight class. Did you eat your Wheaties today? <laughs> okay, just imagine theme music's playing, Top Gun. I can't believe how fast he is. Man, is he fast. Looks scary fast when you're that close, doesn't He's it? He's really fast. You're doing good. You're doing great. Let's lighten you up and do it again. What are the times look? You look so disappointed. Well, I don't know why it's so slow. I haven't done practice lots so slow in forever. Okay, well, let's get you light and then let's get you fat. So it's going to be skinny. This is going to be junior oh, class. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind lifting it all of a sudden. It feels like a child's cart all of a sudden. <laughs> cart. Mark, when did you stop becoming a child? Uh, <laughs> what do we have? 336. So it's about a 30 pound drop. Wow, that's a lot. This is going to be a good measurement. That's like a whole weight class. Yeah. I think we're all set. All you gotta do is get some laps in and see how you feel. Okay. Do you feel like the steak? Uh, okay. Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb.
was it? Uh, how's the lap time this time? Uh, quite a bit better. Uh, the acceleration was just way faster. It was a lot more nimble, but I could also feel that the weight balance had shifted a little bit. So uh, I was sliding quite a bit, but it was also much faster. So a lot of fun. Okay, let's try the Fat Boy class. Okay, let's get you on that scale and see how, how heavy we were able to make this. We literally put every piece of weight we had on here. Like, it's heavy as we can make it. <laughs> I hear you grunting and groaning. Yeah, okay, what do we got? 383 pounds. We're getting close. Oh. We're not quite there. So how about a backpack full of water? 30387. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to give you an ice pack. 394. We're pretty close. Have a drink. Have a drink. Chug, chug, <laughs> chug. He's got to drink that beer before he hits the track. Yeah, <laughs> At least we know you won't be dehydrated. Woo, we made it. Masterclass weight. Perfect. <laughs> this is going to be epic. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I feel a little heavy. <laughs> to be honest. Dude, if I can fit my gun in here. <laughs> you laughed. You give it 40 more years. Yeah, you can't see your toes anymore. Welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Pregnancy simulator. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you look like one of us master drivers. What do you think his time's gonna be? Oh man, uh, 55.1. I would be so happy if that happened. Yeah, well, I would we'll be see. so happy. We will see. It is cooling off though, and cooling usually means faster, so. Yeah, well, and he might actually be cleaning up the track as he goes, so. There's a, there's a potential that the track conditions are improving slightly, so we'll just have to see what happens. We'll see what happens. I might neutralize some of this. Yeah. You can hear the tire squealing. He's not quite used to the extra weight. The cart's a little more lively underneath him, and he's just struggling to get him stopped in the corners. <laughs> it's different. Oh, well, big lift on that first corner. <laughs> nice. Bad. Is that okay? <laughs> I was surprised how, how decent it was. <laughs> okay, so you did three laps in three sessions. Yeah. Three different lap times out there. Any thoughts and opinions on how it went between low, medium, high? Uh, so the feeling was very different between all three of them, but I was surprised at how similar the lap times were overall. Um, whereas the, the senior and the master's weight were back to back. So that was probably a pretty fair comparison. Uh, but I think I could have gone a few tenths faster with the uh, with the lightweight for sure if the if the track conditions were a bit, a bit better. Yeah. So we had it was hot and it was cooling off, and then the, also the track was getting cleaner as you were driving on it. So we had yeah. two factors, plus also you just getting more practice. Yeah. So we had two factors working together to improve your lap times as the day went on. Yeah. So that kind of compl complicated the results a little bit. A little bit, yeah. What do you think the results are, guys? Here's the results. Okay, we got junior, senior, and master class weights. The junior weighed in at 336 pounds, the senior weighed in at 365 pounds, and the masters came in at 395 pounds. About 30 pounds difference between each of the classes. The senior class is Mark's normal running class, and he posted a time of 53.5.
The Junior posted a time that was during hotter conditions and the track was not doing quite as well, so it's a little slower than we expected at 53.4 seconds. The master class, are you ready? We posted a time of 54.1, a difference of 0.6 seconds. So we'll do the math for you. <laughs> math, insert here. <laughs> So that's actually not as much as I thought it was. I thought it would be actually more than that. No, yeah, and uh, I think part of it is the track conditions because uh, I think earlier in the day when we did the, uh, the lighter session, uh, it was a bit dustier, so that was kind of slowing me down, probably a few tenths right there. Compared to just back-to-back -back the senior and the master's weight, 30 pound difference was only two hundredths per pound kind of thing. So when I come off the scales and I'm 10 pounds too heavy, what do you think, is that a significant disadvantage or is it just a small disadvantage? Uh, especially when it comes to qualifying or something like that, or maybe over the course of a longer race, you're going to notice an extra 10 pounds. Yeah. Um, could make a difference because sometimes qualifying comes down to thousandths or, or hundredths. So, yeah, it could make the difference potentially. So it seems like that extra 10 pounds or so could add a tenth or two to your time possibly. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, and so if you're racing in a league that's competitive, a tenth or two, it's is a, a tenth or two? Yeah, yeah, significant. So yeah, you guys all remember Formula One and how tight they're always going for hundreds, and we were talking about tenths with just a little bit of hamburgers. So yeah, <laughs> so that's good. Well, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate you helping drive and and showing everyone just how much this weight affects the cart. That's awesome. It was a lot of fun. Thank appreciate you very it. much. Thanks for having me out. Thanks to Blake and thanks to Jared for helping make this video possible. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, everyone in the audience, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.